Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com. You know, the knitter, the blogger, and the yarn hoe. And this is, what, the fourth week in a row that she has posted a video. Clap for that. Clap for some consistency. Also, also, it's over 4,000 of y'all that have subscribed. Now that's huge. Yes, round of applause for the peoples. Thank you guys, thank you so much. That's like huge for me. I think I said to you guys before, like I didn't really bother with YouTube because, but you guys are telling me that I should. So I am. And welcome to another episode of Gigi made it. <laughs> and she's making it. So, since last time, a couple things we want to talk about. So, we want to talk about the wall walk, which was this weekend. I did a little bit. I didn't do all the stories like I used to try to do. That's a lot. But I, I did hit some of my favorites. And then we want to talk about fears in crafting or fears, period, or self-talk. Maybe that's what we'll call it. We'll call it wool walk and self-talk. Self-talk and wool walk or something like that. You ready? Let's go. So, we're going to start with self-talk. And what do you mean, Gigi? Last episode or last time that I was here, I showed you the yarn that I was using to do the test knit for Inked Indigo from the Periscoping Sisters, right? So... I also told you guys that it was a chart and I don't do charts, right? So that's where the self-talk comes in because why don't I do charts? I can't really tell you, like they look hard. I can't say that I've tried and failed. Does that make sense? So when I say we need to talk about our self-talk, I mean, watch your mouth. I don't know any other way to say it, but watch your mouth because your mouth is very close to two important parts of our anatomy, your heart and your head, right? So both of them control the other, right? So you got to watch what you say to yourself because if you tell yourself you can't do something, let me refine that. If I tell myself that I can't do something, I absolutely don't even try. I avoid it like bird flu, like the plague. I'm not, that's just not me. Like I like to say, that's what real knitters do. Because in my mind, I had convinced myself that I didn't know how to do it or didn't have the skill to do it or I don't know. But I talked myself out of it. There's not a chart that I tried and failed for me to come to the conclusion that I don't do charts. Does that make sense? The self-talk. So I want to show you my progress on this chart that I can't do. And I want to also say that I am proud of myself, but I think I'm missing a stitch marker. Oh, here it is. Okay. The stitch markers in this thing is important, so I can't be losing them. But look, I am... Oh, I lost the stitch marker again. I'm doing it, guys. Look. Wait, let me get all these strings out the way so you guys can see what. I am doing it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, Pam. I'm doing it. So, why I wanted to talk about self-talk is because a lot of folks 
responded to my post about, what did I call it? Facing your fears Friday, right? I said, you got to try so you can know why. Let me say that again. Whatever it is, right, that you are afraid of or that you think you can't do or that you have avoided because you've told yourself that's not something that you could do. You got to try so you'll know why. So if you can't do it, you'll know that's a fact if you try. Does that make sense? Right? So it just made me think about my mom because I was good for saying, oh, I don't, I don't eat that. And she would be like, why? I'm like, I don't like it. She was like, did you ever taste it? And no. So you never tried it? No. And you know you don't like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't like it. How do you know if you didn't try? Right? So you got to try so you'll know why. So if any of you out there listening to me right now are like me and you avoid crafting techniques, you avoid certain techniques in a pattern because you think that you can't do it, I want you to try and then you'll truly know why. If you really can't do it, then we have facts and we can move on, right? We can either seek assistance so that we can learn how to do it or we can decide that's just not something that we want to do. Does that make sense? So self-talk, you got to watch your mouth, watch your mouth. So the rest of this is going to be about the weekend. I have some footage and like I said, the Wool Walk, if you don't know, it is a collection of stores here in New Jersey that get together and they all have some sort of discounts going on. They usually have trunk shows from some of the fabulous um, yard dyers that are out there, um, pattern makers, you know, there's kits galore, there's a contest, there's a, a passport that you get signed for every store. And, you know, there's, there's raffles and there's prizes um, at the end of it. And it's usually a four-day event. I believe it started on Thursday, and today, Sunday, would be the last day. Um, I don't... I know last year, for a fact, there were like 14 stores involved. I'm not really sure how many stores there are involved. I can say to you that there is a ton of stores in the southern part of the state that I have still yet to visit. So I do plan on making my own wool walk and just get in the car one day and go check out those that are in the southern part of the state. What I did do yesterday and what you will see the footage, so I'm not going to talk long because I have, I did, I was good. I was good. You'd be proud of me. I was good. I, I got some good footage of um, Shelby and I. We went to um, Chelsea Yarn first to see my Christina and Red Bank Mike and Miriam, the public figure. And we hung out there for a little while. And then we left there. We went to Page Frame and Fiber in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. And we stayed there the rest of the night because Paige had dinner afterwards. And we all kind of hung out. And it was, it was really cool. I want to say that I woke up yesterday feeling, eh, right? It was just my grandmother's birthday. And that kind of took me for a loop. Um, and... It's the first of the month, so I'm not really in a shopping space. So I didn't want to go because I can't shop. We're not going to say that I don't need no more yarn. We're not going to say that. We're not even, we're not, we're not going to broach that subject. But I decided to go just to support because what I have learned, whether I'm comfortable with um, the perceived fame of who Gigi is, I'm very much aware that folks listen to me and if I recommend a yarn shop people go visit they go check it out so I did want to go and visit some of my favorites for that reason to help drive some more traffic to them to support them I may not can literally take money out of my pocket and purchase something if that makes sense but my influence will absolutely drive some other folks to them does, does that make sense I think you guys get where I'm going with that right so that's um that's what I did so I started with Chelsea so I only hit two stores yesterday we started with Chelsea we hung out with them for a little while because I'm recording and I um one I always try to get a little something even if I can't 
spend money on yarn. I try to get a little something. So I had my eye on the pins from Christina. So she has a, if you don't watch her, her podcast, if you don't watch her podcast, this may not make sense. So go find the Chelsea Pearls podcast. But she has a cookie gate pin and the podcast pin, which is the Chelsea Pearls. So go check them out and you'll understand what the cookie gate is all about. Now, I have to make sure somebody else is at the register because Christina stay giving me stuff. I love her for it, but I want to support. I appreciate the gifts, but I want to help. So if you find yourself in the area, go check out Christina and buy all the yarn. Her yarn is fabulous. I, I promise. Then, oh, at Christina's also, she was having a trunk show with Bloom Bloom Handmade Studios. I, I talked with her a little bit, so you'll see a little clip of her, but I wanted to show you these fabulous cards. Now, you guys know I love a handwritten note, and I love to give handwritten notes, right? Guys, are these the cutest? When I first saw them, I really thought it was three-dimensional. I thought the yarn was actually coming out of the card, but that is just how she's a photographer as well. And that's just how she took the picture. Are those fabulous? And then of course, she wouldn't let me purchase them. They were a gift. Thank you very much. I so appreciate you. So I will put all of her details and you'll see more about her in the footage that's coming up. And then also when I got to pages, you have um, Remembrance Pottery was there. And you'll see when you look on Fame and Fiber's Instagram page, or you can even go to her, I'll put her information, go to her website. She makes the cups, the handmade, the pottery, the little di um, dishes to put your, your stitch markers and things in your um needles she makes that stuff and they all have like the knit pattern on it so she gifted me with these handmade buttons so are these the cutest guys aren't they cute so i'll put her information in the in the information bar as well so she was at Pages. So when we went down to Pages, you'll also see that, what was her name? Brooklyn. You'll see it. She made the cutest bags, but she didn't have orange. So I did talk to her and tell her that I would love if she made one of the little bucket bags and stamped it with orange because from what I understand, she created the fabric and then she stamps it with the different colors, like a, like a mud cloth type thing. But I want it in orange, of course. So she said she would work on it. So I hopefully we'll see her be able to show you that soon. But there is some footage of her table because she was having a trunk show at Paige's place as well. Oh, I forgot to show you guys with the hat. This is the palm that will be on top of the hat and this palm comes from Jessica, not Jessica, Jessica Yarn Cafe. Is that a fluffy palm or what? So that's going to be on top of my hat. And odds are by next week, you'll see a finished hat. This, this test is a hat and a cow set. So I know I'll be finished with the hat. I should. I plan on finishing the hat this evening, actually, if I can. And that's the palm to go with it. Then today, we got up, and my, my train of thought was to do local stuff. So there's a yarn shop in Montclair called Yarnia. And then you have South Orange is the little local shop. Um, little local yarn shop. The local yarn shop. It doesn't say little. Local yarn shop. And then I always try to make it to Woolen Grace in Summit because I just love 
the layout of the store. I love their whole presentation, the way that they do their kits. I just, there's something classy. Not to say that other places aren't, but there's something about Will and Grace that I just, I just love the feel of. So that was in Summit, New Jersey. So we hit three stores today. And again, the footage is coming up. So before I slide you over to the footage, again, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your comments. I read them all. You guys don't know how you make me smile. I appreciate you. If you are new and this is the first time that you're watching, hey, 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 make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button. I usually upload on Sundays. That's my plan and that's what I'm going to try to remain consistent. This is the fourth week four, baby, four. So stay tuned as me and Shelby walk our way through the wall. Walk. We will walk it. We gonna walk to the wall. Me and my baby. She always taking care of her mama. Say hi to the people. Hi to the people. <laughs> we on our way. Look, and I packed my own snacks. <laughs> She's resourceful. Okay, so Christina always has snacks. Always, always. Hi, how are you? So let's check out what she got going on. Okay, this. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good, good, good. I am in love with all things shift. This is gorgeous. I want to do the cow. Hello, how are you? Okay, so tell me what you got here. Is this okay? So this is a wool wool color. Yeah. Okay. And this is a Sunnydale cowl. Okay. Knit out of it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. There's single ply. There's mohair. So do you have that color in all weights or just in fingering? Um, fingering and I actually have two. If you decide you don't like that's the D. Oh, that that's pretty. That is very pretty. Michelle is hanging out partying with the yarn at night. Yeah. Oh, I see Sheldon. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. Hmm. How much are they? Twenty-seven. Okay. Hi, Sheldon. You gonna say hi to the people? You'll be on my podcast, okay? You gonna wave? I need you to wave, Sheldon. No. You just gonna stare? Okay, we'll leave you alone. <laughs> he's tired. I'm sure he's been all over the place. I've watched him. <laughs> now, that's night shift. Night shift, right? So, do you have a? Uh, There's kits. There is kits. In the blue, the wooden crate. This right there, that's that. Okay, okay. Listen, and I, I remember that very first I bought this from you and I still haven't used it. I just love to look at it. <laughs> I still haven't used it. I love this is the best. Yeah, yeah. I want to do, I want to use it, I've got to figure out something. But every time I pull it out, I put it back. I love that. I love it, I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is so pretty. Okay. And what's the name of that sweater? Once again. Once again by? Deb Gerhardt. Okay. That's Let's go back and talk to Deb. So, I'm going to take everything at my kids. I love your sweater. Thank you. I was just looking at it with the purples and gray. That is yeah, really trying, nice. Knitting furiously, trying to get that done. So what is it called now? Once again. Once again. And what weight yarn is that? This is DK. This is her so it goes, DK, DK it'll go up a little faster than the fingering. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, it, this is all just, it's a strand of knitting, so it's just curl, and then a one by one cable. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Can I, you want, can you spin? Can you spin? Nice, nice, nice. I love that. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
I can't see from the glare. Is this thing on? <laughs> we are now down here in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Came to see my page, the framer, not farmer. So let me turn around so you guys can see. Welcome to the world, walkers. She got all the pretty flowers. <laughs> she won't let me in. I got, not, I got, I got, I got evidence. How not that you to behave in a yard sale. Exactly. <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? Oh, I haven't been since she changed everything around. She has fancy. She has fancy, fancy. No, she did not just do that. And I was like, I must have a question. Mailbox was painted like mailbox. Really? For like 15 years. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I must hug you. Yes, I'm you Natalie. Hi. And I'm so oh happy to oh meet you. Same here, same here. What happened? Uncle Paul Miller. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, well, yeah, the right. world stops. Hi, darling, how are you? Good, 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 good. How's it going? Really well. Yeah? Yeah. Good stuff. Hi, how are you? Come on, no, you got to hug. Come on, come on. Look, look, bring it in, bring it in. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. All right, I'm hot. Hi, GD. There's the man. That's <laughs> why. That, that's it. That's Woman why we drove hour. down here. Hi, honey. How are you? How are you? Great to see you. Same here. So it's going good. It's going well. Yeah. Yeah. See? We, you caught a lull, so it's see, not so crazy. See, see, see. And remember when she was like, she wasn't sure she wanted to do this. <laughs> what happened? You need to feed me. What? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Why are you getting out of the way? I want you. She's coming for you. She's coming. She saw me already. She saw me already. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm around the corner. I thought you were going to get out of the way. Wait, is that Gigi's pack, do you think? No. Maybe. Never. No, I don't think You can take this. Oh, okay. I got it. Nobody moves. Nobody moves. Oh, yeah, right. We have to do it again. <laughs> that one's got to be perfect. That one, that last one, I got, that last one's got to be perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now that I finished laughing hysterically, I love Paige's pom-pom tree. So she has since changed the store around a bit since the last time that I've been here <clears throat> and it looks really really good excuse me <laughs> very nice <clears throat> so you got the black hat legacy fiber I like these mittens, but I'm so afraid of them. Oh, she has kits for the shift. Oh, that's pretty. You're right, it's the same part. This one's like a hot toy. Yeah, and this one just put in your head. I was with you. Yeah, that's how it happened in the place we just came from. Okay. Now laughing, but I'm like... Yeah, I know. I know. I know. All right, hot mama. Take your hot mama yard. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, it's a ladder. <laughs> I love the trees that she has. All right, lady. Okay. And then especially her knit mats. And the mat with the state in it. All good stuff. All good stuff. Okay, day two of the, well, day two of the World Walk for me is actually the last day. Me and my 
partner in crime. <laughs> so we decided to do local stuff today instead of driving so far because we drove all the way down yesterday. So we are in Yarnia, which is located in Montclair, New Jersey. Like, Narnia. Right. Nah. And their logo is orange, so they are the bomb. This is pretty. That's pretty. So I'm going to turn it. Right, Yarnia. Because remember, I have the hat. I have the Yarnia hat. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So I'm going to turn this around and let you see the store and the owner. Hello. Good morning. So tell everybody your name. Amanda. Turner. Amanda. Okay, now I've come here a few times. This is the first time I'm meeting you. So is it partners or? Yeah, there's okay. three of us. Okay. Kathleen, Jen, and me. Okay. Now, how long have you guys been here? A year and a half. Year and a half. We're super excited. Oh. It's our first roll, roll walk. Nice. And how's it been going? Good. Yeah, Good. you had a nice flow. So many people. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. And how's the yarn shop itself going? Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We have classes here on the weekends. During okay. The week, some evenings. Okay. And we just, I mean, it's like being able to share your stash with everybody. Right. It's a lot yeah. of fun. That's a nice way to look at it. I like that. So you know, I particularly love you guys because of the orange, right? That's Kathleen. Okay. She's an orange She's lady the orange too. She did that. Okay. <laughs> now, I think that's who stopped me at Vogue to say, come in. I said, I've been a few times, but I think each time I'm here, she's not. So please tell her that I was here. Yeah, absolutely. Because she always, always, every time I see her, like at the different events, she says, so nice selection of yarn. So it's fiber for those that like to spin. The little baby stuff always gets me. Always, always. Is this the cutest? That's cute. You guys know I love wool in the game. Yes, darling. It's pretty. You know she'll dye it for you. So for the crocheters out there, that say they never find anything crochet in a yarn store. You tell stories. <laughs> the Kathleen's daughter made that. That is so cute. She's a senior in high school this year and such a good crochet. That is a cro that is crochet too. Yes, yeah, see, crochet crochet yeah. samples, guys. And it's not under acrylic yarn. So break all those myths, please. <laughs> You can crochet with any yarn that you like. Now, you know what's funny? You guys already know I love orange, but I navigate too. So if I have, you guys always ask me my favorite shades of orange or my favorite yarn. I can't say one in particular, but I can tell you that just about every brand has a favorite shade of orange for me. I can spot Madeline Todd's citrus, citrus a mile away. A mile away. Is that gorgeous? A mile away, I can spot that citrus. I think, Danny, where were we? I think when we were in, um, we were in Nitty City and you ran in the back and grabbed it. And I was like, yep, that's citrus. I know what that is. <laughs> nice spot, huh? That is Rasta. Rasta. No, it's not Rasta. Who is that? That's Menace Ah, okay. Something you don't know. No, that's not. I thought, I saw the thickness. I thought it was Rasta. I didn't know they made a weight so large. I have a lot of their stuff. It's so yummy. Yes, it is. Oops, it's falling apart. That's okay. I'll fix it. <laughs> Can you fix Rocky. that, Shelby? I broke it. <laughs> I 
And then I bought my Coco Knits kit from here for the sweater um, blocking. Well, I want to come back to these crochet samples. Look at this, guys. So now we are headed to the local yarn shop in South Orange, New Jersey. The weather is perfect today, so we may do one more stop, but I know that my buddy back there is hungry, so we're going to have to find some place to eat soon. So, let's see what's in here. It's a cute little, South Orange is a nice little town. My god sister lives over here. Okay. All right, baby. So we are approaching the little yarn shop, the local yarn store. So, as you can see, it has all the signage for the wool walk. And we are all set to go in and check it out. I was here one time before when they first opened. And it's not far from me at all, so I don't know why I haven't been back. I need to do better. But as you see, we have a wall of indie dye. Fibers and that spin cycle is so pretty. And Cedar House yarns and this shift cow is haunting my soul. I have to make it. Oh, are you still out? No, I make one? Okay. I just never get to go there. Good. How are you? Good. What are you doing? Oh, you're at home? Oh, 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 okay. Sounds about my own life. Hello, lady. How are you? Good. In the Happy flesh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, Hello. We met at Vogue Knitting. Yes. You met a million people and you won't remember. Yeah. No, she told me. Yeah. She I did. Told no, I told yeah. everyone. That, that was that Friday. Friday. Because what's the first thing people say when they see you after they say, oh my God, it's so wonderful to meet, to meet you. We shall be. Your, your daughter is my banker. <laughs> Good. How are you? How's it going? Good. It's yeah. going really well. It's been such an exciting weekend. I can't believe I haven't been here since you opened. <laughs> you I was I, I came for, like that first weekend or whatever. I remember. All right. You've had a few things okay. going on. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Really I'm good. nice. Crochet, crochet. Just, just so you know, crochet. The wall of needles. Oh, look, this is gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous. And she has a little play area for the children. I spy. And getting warmer, I spy a getting warmer. <laughs> Very nice. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for just being fabulous. You guys are, you rock. Like, seriously, I appreciate your insight, your comments, what you share with me. It's, it, it's all appreciated. It doesn't go unnoticed, trust me.